To rapid turnover. It's the hardest start and finish in racing. I'm Ray Eddings here, beautiful and hot Independence, Iowa. We're at the Independence Motor Speedway for this new sport. What is it? It's three disciplines, one rider. Let me explain. We have our rider run 10 meters. He has to jump two sets of hay bales. Yes, hay bales. Runs out to these ATVs that were specially prepared for the dirt, hits the track, does three laps on this quarter mile oval. Then he's going to pull back into zone one, because that's where we keep these ATVs. Jump those hay bales again, hop on his motorcycle in zone two, start it, hit the track, and do three more laps. If that wasn't enough, we make him rinse and repeat. He'll do that two more times. ATV, motorcycle. We also have him do a 90-degree turn into the pits. That's for safety. We have a safety zone where the ATVs are. No rider can touch the safety zone. If they do, then they're black flagged, disqualified, out of the competition. So the chart says it all. Follow it twice and be one of the top two who runs for the flag. Two heats and the top two from each heat go to the final. That's rapid turnover. Two heats and the finals, four folks in the finals. Now you know the rules. Let's meet today's racers. Dusty Klein, Waterloo, Iowa, motorcycle. Jason Veal, Waterloo, Iowa, motorcycle. Derek Hansen, Waterloo, Iowa, motorcycle. Pat Rippentrop, Waterloo, Cedar Falls, motorcycle. Brah. Jeremy Johnson, Cedar Falls, ATV. Travis Bowers, Waterloo, motorcycle. Jeff Zarr, Kearney, Nebraska, motorcycle. Rick Ritterass, Cedar Falls, Iowa, motorcycle. Joshua Haney, Colorado Springs, motorcycle. Woo! Rick Hansen, Cedar Falls, Iowa, motorcycle. Aaron King, Waterloo, Iowa, motorcycle. Kyle Kern, Cedar Falls, Iowa, motorcycle. Well, there's our dark horse, Pat Rippentrop, from last episode. Also, the winner of Rapid Turnover, Aaron King, from last episode. So what do you say we get P1 of Rapid Turnover going? Racers, on your mark, get set, Go! And like the Oklahoma Land Rush, they are off. It is a mad dash for the DRR ATV. Who will be the first out? You never know. And it looks like it's Kern first out, and there's already a fight for second place. Oh, Travis Bowers is having some trouble starting his ATV. Look, Kern and King are already fighting for first place. And King looks like he's moving on the outside. King is in first place. Aaron King moves into first place. He was your winner from last episode, and he's showing why he's the champion. There's so much dust being kicked up. It's just killing my allergies today. Amazing as King moves into first. Now, let's look here. We've got some more familiar names out there. Dusty Klein. There's Dusty Klein in second place, and Aaron King is about ready to move into zone one and run for his motorcycle. So King is out of the pits and on his way. Who's second out? Kyle Kearns is out. And it looks like, who's having some trouble? It looks like Eric King is just running away with it. It looks like Jason Beal is having some issues starting his motorcycle. Oh my goodness, he just keeps kicking the thing and it won't start. Aaron King continues to move away from the pack. Look, we have a violation. There is a violation over in the pits right now. I can't tell who exactly that was, but I saw the violation. I think it's Travis Bowers with DQ. We'll have to find out what's going on. Jason Beal looks like he is tired. Let's throw it down to Gail and find out about the DQ. Pulled in there, a guy pulled right in front of me. I'm, I, was, I was trying to actually park where the black quad is right next to the white one, and I see now that I'm right on the line. Just the way it goes in racing. Oh, that's a tough break. We'll be right back with more Rapid Turnover. Welcome back to Rapid Turnover. I'm Ray Eddings coming to you from Independence Motor Speedway in Independence, Iowa. And there's a familiar sight, your leader, Aaron King, making a mad dash for the ATV. 
I want to throw it down to our new reporter, Gail Kellogg, with the tired Jason Beal. You had your motorcycle, you kept trying to start it. What, what was the deal? Uh, I just couldn't get started and kept kicking, kicking, and it just wouldn't go. Yeah, we heard it was like we tried 27 times or something like that. Yeah, something like that. It hard. Well, how was your experience here otherwise? Well, it was good. I was like third on the four, on the four wheelers, and then uh, just one just one go. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Ray. Thanks, Gail. We had Gail join us so that uh, we don't kill Kent Christensen running him to death on this episode. So anyway, all the riders have made it through the transition, and Aaron King continues to lead Heat One of rapid turnover. Look at the guys running over for their ATVs. There is Derek Hansen, another familiar competitor for rapid turnover. And, and I'm hearing Hansen was DQ'd for parking in the safe zone, but the official has been unable to flag him down. Man, and, and Hansen doesn't have a crew chief, so he can't even grab the crew chief and tell him, hey, your rider's been disqualified. He's got to set his motorcycle up on the kickstand or drop it on the ground. Look, he's running for zone one. He runs right past the track official. They don't even realize it's Hansen. Oh, wow. I wonder how this is going to play out. What happens if, if Hansen comes in first or second? It all happens in the pits, ladies and gentlemen. I say it all the time. There's number two, Dusty Klein. He is making up time on Aaron King, who's making the transition for his motorcycle. He is running. Klein is close behind him, getting off his DRR ATV, jumping the hay bales and making the run. King gets off so quickly because he has an electric start on his motorcycle. Klein's going to have to kick his a couple of times to get it going. A lot of guys have been flooded today, but Klein makes the transition. He's out on the track, still holding on to second. Tightly on to second, I should say. And there is Jeff Zur. Jeff is hopping on his motorcycle. Oh, looks like he's having a little trouble starting it. Getting a little push from his crew chief. Can he get it started? Aaron King is pulling away from the field. Oh, looks like Zur is still down there kicking his motorcycle. Can't get it started. Oh, that's going to put him way far behind. He's not going to be able to get it started. You know Let's throw it down to Gail Callon for the particular. What happened there? Uh, I got a flood of trying to get it started too quick. Just couldn't get it started again. Well, thanks, Gail. As predicted, Aaron King, he's your winner. He won. Congrats! And here comes Dusty Klein running in for number two. Oh, he died for the flag! Dusty Klein! Let's go down to Gail Kellogg with your winners. Hey, congratulations, you did it. How was it out there? Oh, it's a lot of fun. You know, the four is a lot of fun. Uh, my KTM 450 motorcycle was awesome, and uh, it's just a lot of fun out here, right, making laps on the oval. And it's, it's a great time. Looking forward to getting into the final, and uh, hopefully I can do good there, too. All right, how was it out there? You got second place. Second, yeah, it's really good out there, and, I mean, it's a little different than I'm used to. I'm a motocross racer, so... This is a little smoother than what I'm used to, but I had a lot of fun out here. This is great. So you're ready to move on? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Yep. Back to you, Ray. Thanks, Gail. Dusty Klein, he gets pushed at the start and then dives at the finish. I love rapid turnover. So with two spots gone, we have two spots to 